Thank you for watching the Student Athlete Playbook segment with 100 Yards of Sports. I'm still at Cedar Grove High School, Ellenwood, Georgia. Listen, these guys are one of the best teams, not only in the state of Georgia, but in the whole United States of America. The Cedar Grove Saints, and I'm right here in the gym. You might hear the ball bouncing. You might hear students in the background. The school is still going on, but listen, we get a chance to talk with two of the leaders of this 2018 Cedar Grove High School football team. They rank number one in AAA in the state of Georgia, and they got a big, big state championship game next week. Let me introduce you to them. Uh, Big Mike, take it away. Uh, I'm Michael Brooks. I'm the starting center here at Cedar Grove High School. My name is William Jenkins, and I'm the starting linebacker of the Cedar Grove Center. Now, I know both of y'all being recruited. We're not going to get into that because I know people try to get these secrets, but maybe y'all invite me back and let y'all announce y'all decisions, maybe, hopefully. Are y'all, well, let me just ask, are y'all signing, are y'all signing in December or in February? February. February. February? Y'all gonna wait till February, okay. So they're not gonna give me the scoop yet, y'all. We're gonna try to get it out of, but I'm gonna leave them alone right now. Let's, let's get to these questions, gentlemen. I know y'all gotta go work out. <laughs> All right, so now step, step, step up a little bit more and talk, talk loud. I want everybody to hear what y'all saying. Yes. Okay, so, all right, so fellas, y'all get a chance to play in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium next week. Y'all play in Peach County. They're a very good team, too. How y'all feel about playing in, in the Mercedes-Benz? It's a, a two years old, the stadium only two years old. What, what, how y'all feel about that? Uh, I think it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a great experience for us. Because I remember uh, my sophomore year, when we went to Georgia Dome, right before we shut down, we got a chance to play it, we won. So I just think it's going to be a great experience for us. I hope we do our thing now. <laughs> That's right. So, I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's a great experience. Because I've also, like you said, played in Georgia on my sophomore year. So I mean, I think it's going to be a great experience for the guys just to get more exposure because we're going to be on TV. Exactly. Because we're going to be watching. So I just feel like it's going to be like a great chance to get exposure for guys that don't have as much exposure as the team. Exactly. Yeah. So, I got you. I love it. So you you see, these guys, big time seniors, and they care about their other teammates getting exposure too. That's the family atmosphere Coach Smith was talking about in his segment. Family, family, family. That's why these guys are sitting here. Y'all 13 and one, right? 13 and one. That's why they're sitting here 13 and one. They truly have a family atmosphere. So now y'all excited to play in the bend. Now, y'all, y'all, y'all were here as ninth graders, right? Yes. What has changed or what happened for y'all to develop from ninth graders to this this state championship quality program that y'all had? What in y'all eyes, what what happened? Uh, well I say it's just a whole bunch of uh, just buying in, buying into the system. Mm -hmm. Making sure you just do what the coaches say. Mm -hmm. Have that discipline factor, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just just being disciplined, man. <laughs> just know it, just knowing what you Know, know where you're supposed to be, know what you got to do. Right. That's what it takes to win. And that's what, wow. we, like, what, that's what, that's what we like doing. Women is fun. <laughs> yep. Now, hold on. You heard student athletes repeat what they coach. He mentioned discipline in his segment. Hey, man, y'all real serious about winning for real, huh? Yep. You heard two young men in 2018 talking about discipline. I love it, man. I love it. Mike, what, what's some of the keys you heard? Discipline? Buying into the system, what, what would you say to add on to that? Uh, in one of my opinions, this one wins championship. Wow. This one wins championship. Wow. And like, players, my teammates, I put on their big boy pants, as I call them. Uh, right. And just balled out all season. Wow. This one wins championship. Just, just tapping in and listening to the coaches, taking the coaches to the back is one of the biggest things that I find this team has done. Because you don't really see a lot of. Just like players getting the attitude, they get coached like they take the coaching really well. Right. Wow. So now you just heard discipline. You heard buying in. You heard they listening and taking instruction. These are young men. These are our leaders of the future right here. So everybody out there who believes all our young people are out of control, here's an example of young men, young black men out here paying attention, wanting to learn and actually executing 
in the classroom and on the field. So now this goes to our last question, gentlemen. Student athletes. A student is first for a reason. What are some of what are some of the keys? Well, let me say it like this. What have been some of the things that y'all have done as students to make y'all successful? Uh, definitely gotta sacrifice. You gotta sacrifice anything you want. First of all, so I think sacrifice is key. Okay, you gotta take some time out. Get what you need. Right. Second of all, take um, take a book real serious. Okay, that'll help you get into school. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I think those are two major things. Sacrifice in the books hard. I love it. I love it. Uh, some of the biggest things, I say time management. Woo! After practice, go home, or lay down, get to bed, you know, the game. Right. Uh, first thing I do when I go home, go home, eat, take a shower, and I'm doing my homework. I got it. Wow. Young man, let me share this with you. When I was in college, I went to, I went to a school called Presbyterian College. That's where I played. Coach Prelo and I, that's where we, we went to school. That's, that's one of the reasons I'm here. Relationship. One of the things I learned was time. Time is the most important thing we have on this planet because it just keeps going. So how we use our time is critical. And that's what you just talked about. I love it, man. I love it, gentlemen. Y'all making me so proud because a lot of people don't believe we got young people out here like y'all. But we do. And here's evidence of it. So now, great answers. Now, we getting ready for this state championship game next Tuesday, 1 o'clock p.m. I know everybody's going to be taking off work, all the parents. The whole school has to shut down because everybody got to get to the game. So we bringing over some of your classmates. Yo, show, show everybody how Cedar Grove get down. <laughs> so listen, hey y'all, thank y'all for watching the Student Athlete Playbook segment with 100 Yards of Sports. I'm here at Cedar Grove High School. The Cedar Grove Saints playing Peach County, and Peach County is no joke. They're going to be ready to play. So, fellas, y'all going to be ready to get down at the bench? Hey, man. Pleasure meeting y'all, brother. Yes, sir, man. Y'all go get a good workout here, man. Yes, sir. All right. Thank y'all for watching the Student Athlete Playbook. Coach Barry Brown, Cedar Grove High School, 2018, y'all. We're real serious about this education stuff. One love.